Noob Stock Analysis. Okay, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about yet another EV charging, sta charging station stock, uh, similar to ChargePoint and Blink Charging, but quite a unique company, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit more about exactly what Noob is and how it's related to newborn acquisition. So in case you guys don't know about Noob, it's a yet another SPAC, it's a special purpose acquisition company, and this is a company that uh, Nuve is using to merge so they can do uh, a SPAC IPO. So right now, this is actually one of the cheaper, probably if not one of the cheaper um, EV station stocks that you can buy. As you can see here on Robinhood, the current market cap for this SPAT is only 89 million and the stock is already up almost two dollars in after hours so it looks like this is just getting on people's radar and i've been looking around a bit and i haven't really seen a lot of uh, articles kind of explaining this company in depth uh so i'm going to do my best to do it guys this guy video is going to be a little bit more technical than some of the other videos because i have to explain some of the technology so let's get right into it so let's first let's check out that press release kind of explaining how this deal is going to work so as you can see here, this was posted on uh, Nuve.com. It says Nuve to become a publicly listed company to accelerate worldwide commercialization of its vehicle to grid technology. And I'm going to explain uh, V2G technology in a bit. So as you can see here, basically, this kind of breaks down the deal. So it says the company projects revenue growth to outpace the EV charging industry. And according to Nuve, it actually is going to have the highest compounded annual growth rates, guys. Yes, they're projecting over 300% compound annual growth rates from Nuve. That's even much larger than ChargePoint or Bleak Charging. So stay tuned as we go a little bit more into uh, this merger. So as you can see here, it says news proprietary V2G technology enables it to link multiple electric vehicle batteries into a virtual power plant to provide bi-directional services to the electrical grid in a qualified, secure manner. The virtual power plant can generate revenue by selling excess power to utility companies or utilizing the safe power to reduce building energy consumption. Okay, guys, so this is not a tech channel, so I'm going to do my best to explain this uh, using pictures. So what is V2G? So here is a picture of how V2D works. So basically, uh, you know, traditional charging companies, they're basically just going to, you know, like charge point, you're going to just go take your vehicle up to the charging uh, station, charge your vehicle, and then you go on your way. Uh, V2D is a little bit different. So according to them, I found this picture on Google that kind of explains it. It's like interconnected with a grid. So you hook up your vehicle, but there's also power that's being pushed through the grid. And the V2G is kind of the middleman and it's kind of regulating the power flow. So this is a little bit different. And apparently this is a little bit more revolutionary than charge point or blink charging. This is why it got my attention. But guys, I am not a heavy tech guy. So I'm just doing my best to explain this because I think it's a little bit confusing confusing if you don't really come from a tech background so as we go to the uh back to the release and i'm going to talk a little bit more about that in depth but i just want to kind of show you guys that quickly so you have an idea of what they're talking about so as you can see here the ceo once again this is a, a founder co-founder ceo run company these companies tend to, to perform better over the long run similar to uh, netflix and reed hastings jeff bezos and amazon so that's definitely a good sign so uh he says since our founding in 2020 Nuve has successfully delivered its patented and proprietary vehicle to grid technology and services to fleet customers grid operators electric utilities and other stakeholders around the world so the interesting thing about this company is it's a little bit different from charge point you know charge point is basically based in north america uh, and Europe but this company is is established a little bit more now they're not nearly as big they don't have as nearly big as a footprint and they only have around 20 to 30 employees but apparently they have a huge uh, growth target in the V2G technology so as you can see here it says Nuv is the only company so as you can see here it says Nuv is the only company in the world qualified with several system operators to commercially provide V2G uh, flexibility service to electric utility system operators from batteries of electric vehicles. So, for example, Nuv talks about how they're based in Denmark where they've been providing V2G services. And they also have um, a kind of a business segment for electric buses. So this is a little bit different. And I haven't really heard anyone talking about this. But uh, Nuv is uh, going to provide uh, services for charging uh, school buses. 
So if we take a look at the website, we can take a look. It says electric bus charging solution. So I think this is a game changer. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen charge point or blink charging. Obviously, these stations can, uh, you know, charge these types of vehicles. But I haven't seen a company that has focused on uh, charging uh, school buses. So as we know, you know, a lot of kids have been uh, home for the pandemic and, you know, a lot of uh, new lockdowns in North America. And, you know, a lot of people are, um, you know, staying home with their kids because their kids are being virtual schooling, things like that. But after the vaccines pass and a little bit down the road when kids are going back to school and things like that, a lot of uh, a lot of bus companies are going to need, um, you know, electric buses charged. So I think this is really interesting and another kind of growth segment for Nuve. And I really haven't heard any other charging stations kind of focusing on this opportunity. So I think this is a really interesting company. Uh, it hasn't really been talked about uh, a lot, so I'm going to do my best to keep inform you guys on what's going on. So as we see here, he further talks about the rapid adoption of EV is driving the need for vehicle grid integration, which are more common one-way electric charging stations while new is able to manage this one-way vehicle grid integration we believe that the integration of bi-directional vehicle to grid capabilities will help to stabilize the grid reduce the overall cost of ev ownership so apparently this company says that by using their technology they're going to be able to reduce the costs of of charging and really scale in mass and they projected that this technology they have will be worth over 17 billion dollars by 2027 we are of the transaction summary so i want to quickly talk about this guys and then i want to go back and talk a little bit more about some of the technology and then we're going to do some te uh, technical analysis i'll give you guys my long-term price target so one of the things that kind of jumped out to me is that uh this is not really uh that big of a deal um you know for instance a company like chargepoint they had a six billion dollar um you know at least six billion it's a lot more now because the stock is up but they were going to basically have a six billion dollar uh, SPAC IPO. This company is a lot smaller, so really only 20 million shares outstanding with a potential market cap of around uh, $200 million. So, you know, one of the smaller companies out there, and this is kind of uh, strange for a lot of SPACs that I've seen. Uh, with Nuv, this, if you buy the if you buy the SPAT newborn acquisition as ticker symbol NBAC, that's actually going to make up 31% of the company. So another thing I've noticed is that with a lot of other stocks like ChargePoint and stuff like that, you're basically only owning like six to ten percent. But with new, you're going uh if you buy the stock, you're going to be owning 31%. So this is a lot different. This is like kind of a unicorn type company. And uh, so it's it's a little bit different and a lot smaller. So now I want to show you guys some more financial numbers like I was talking about earlier. Nuve has some of the highest projected compound annual growth rates that I've seen. 312% according to this presentation where ChargePoint is only at 60% and Blink is obviously doesn't have that many clear revenue numbers. But I've been looking at Blink's revenue. Blink is doing about... Uh, let's say on average maybe 30 to 40 million a year and charge point is doing over 135 million per year so according to uh you know according to this presentation nuve is also quite uh, undervalued as you can see here enterprise value divided by 2020 revenue it's also undervalued there and has some of the highest growth so one of the reasons why it probably has some of the highest growth is that if you could take a look at it the revenue is it's pretty low so if you take a look here uh year to date revenue in 2020 company did just around three million dollars uh but they're projected for 32 million in 2021 and a whopping 93 million in 2022 so what's basically going on is that you've got a company that's projected to do 93 million dollars in 2022 yet the current market cap uh once it turns uh into nuve is going to be around 200 million probably around 250 million because the stock is up a bunch so i think this is definitely one of the cheaper ones and i think it's grossly undervalued so i think it's a little confusing to understand the v2g technology but if they're right about their revenue projections this company is grossly undervalued because at 93 million dollars in revenue with an ipo of around 200 million that's basically a price to sales ratio of two which is ridiculously low so if we use a conservative price to sales ratio would say like five or ten that means that this company is worth at least 500 million to a billion dollars so there's a lot of upside i think in the stock i want to show you guys some of the places that uh Nuv is active so they have quite a big footprint as you can see here they're in uh philippines japan france 
Delaware, UK, San Diego, France, Denmark, Namibia even. So, you know, this company is definitely a lot smaller, but they have a big global footprint and apparently their technology is just so much more scalable than just traditional charging stations. So I would say with this company, there's definitely a lot of hype. As you can see here, here's kind of the interconnected V2G technology, whereas most of these charge point and blink, they're just using uh, smart charging and uh, one way V1G charging connections. So guys, like I said, there seems to be a lot of growth potential for this company. It's one of, it's by, it's the smallest market cap once this company goes IPO and it turns into uh, new by far. So it's basically would be like the number three most popular charging station stock. And I haven't heard of really a lot of people talking about it, probably because of the little bit of the complex nature and the fact that these guys are like unicorns, they're kind of doing their own thing. But if we take a look at their management team, excellent management team. So one of the things I love, I love to see companies run by founders. So that checks off this box. And according to a lot of these people's backgrounds, it looks like there's experience from Ford and GE. Um, Kyocera, so Intuit. So it looks like the management team is decent as well. And like I said, founder led company, which I like to see. So now let's talk a little bit more about where I think this company is going in the long term. We don't really have to do a lot of technical analysis per se on the chart because all of these SPAT stocks start at 10 bucks. So once again, I want to reiterate the market capitalization will be around 200 million once the deal goes through in a newborn acquisition shareholders will own about 31 percent uh current new shareholders have 53 percent private investment is seven percent and a newborn sponsor is eight percent and approximately once this deal closes they should have around 66 million in cash on the balance sheet and uh, i would assume no debt so that's one of the reasons why companies use spats they use this to raise company uh, to raise money and not have a lot of debt and with 20 million shares outstanding uh, this company, this stock has a, has a lot of momentum. Uh, usually when companies have very few shares outstanding, the stock is going to move a lot faster. So now I want to talk a little bit more about the price. Okay, guys. So right now the stock is trading at $13 and 87 cents. And remember I said that if you buy newborn ac acquisition ticker symbol NBAC, that's going to be around 31% of the company. And the company is only going to have 20 million shares outstanding. Uh, when this deal is done. So I think this stock can absolutely soar. So uh, if they're right about 2022 pr uh, revenue projections of $90 million, then this company using a conservative price to sales ratio of like 10 to 15 is worth about 900 million. And it's currently going to IPO at about 200 million. So there's about three to four X upside, assuming those revenue numbers in the future are correct. So if those uh, revenue projections are correct and we saw charge point uh, go from 10 to 40, we saw blink go from uh, blink was trading as like to three or four dollars and that one went to 26. I think that 50 to 60 dollars is a realistic price point. I think 50 to 60 dollars is a realistic price point uh, for this bet. Uh, I think there's a lot of upside uh, in this company as well. Just basically moving just like the other charging uh, station stocks have. So I'm just using that. Usually stocks tend to trade to a bunch together. Uh, all the other charging station stocks have moved up. And I think that this company is probably worth, according to those uh, future revenue projections, at least 900 million, maybe even a billion dollars. So I think 50 to $60 is a nice uh, price point. I haven't seen any options on this stock, but you can just basically buy the stock long and uh, hold on to it for um, for a bit. But, you know, I haven't seen a lot of revenue from this company. They only make $3 million so far. But, you know, it's hard to tell if this company will be able to live up to its hype. They've only brought in around $3 million this year compared to Blink Charging, which has brought in nearly $30 million, and ChargePoint, which has brought in over $100 million so far this year. So, like I said, I think this is definitely a speculative company. But, once again, since, it's, since the SPAT is under the ticker symbol NBAC, I think a lot of people aren't really familiar with Noov, and I haven't really seen a lot of good research research articles on this stock as well so that's why I wanted to do my best to give cover this because we saw with charge point when I mentioned charge point to you guys I posted that video it was around $18 so far that's that uh, spat stock has doubled so charge point of course going under switchback uh, energy SBE that stock is doubled and I've seen the similar things with these spat deals now not with every spat because a lot of spats aren't very good but I saw the same thing with DraftKings that went through the roof I saw the same thing with ChargePoint 
that went through the roof so once again all these spats start at ten dollars so newborn energy it's only 13 bucks guys i think there's a lot of upside here we saw what happened with blink we saw what happened with charge point so for me this would be uh basically another a long-term hold uh has a lot of upside i think assuming it's going to trade just like blink and charge point so i hope i did my best to explain this guys really interesting company with new technology nice big global footprint and a lot of upside in these shares looking at 89 million dollar market cap this is definitely the smallest uh micro cap even uh spac stock that i've seen so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you enjoy my content please smash the like button and press the uh, red subscribe button to subscribe so that's it until next time guys take care